Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to add additional M.2 SSD on your Dell XPS. Alright, so this is the Dell XPX 8950 and I'll be adding additional M.2 SSD drive in this desktop. Alright, so this is the side of the computer and the back of the computer should look something like this and on the very top right corner you do see a little latch and you need to open up that screw in order to pull the latch get yourself a flathead screwdriver or a phillips screwdriver and go ahead and start turning the screw the screw would not come off it would just be loose at this position and what you want to do is the next step is to pull the latch open okay so you pull it open and at the same time you want to lift up the side panel so just lift it straight up and slide the side panel off at this given point here you can actually take a look at your computer and feel amazed with it all right so the original hard drive the m.2 is pre-installed on this slot right here and you do have a secondary hard drive which is on the top right corner here this is the regular spinning hard drive okay so what I'm trying to achieve is to add additional M.2 on that second slot. So if you can see here, right next to the RAM and the Wi-Fi, that is the second slot for your M.2. However, you do need to find a screw to tighten up the M.2. So go through your drawer, find a little tiny screw that fits into this hole right here. Okay, so if you're not sure where to buy the M.2 or what kind of M.2 that you can use, uh, please check the link down description below. I would link it down to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement or additional add-on of your solid state drive. Alright, so here they do have a slot that you need to follow. So position at this point, short on the left, long on the right slide it in at 45 degree angle and close it down now again remember i told you that we need to have a screw so you need to find a screw to screw it in so that you can hold that m.2 drive okay now is it done at this point the answer is almost but it's not all right so once you have installed the m.2 and you have your side panel going back in do not forget the screw i didn't put the screw in because i'm just showing you a demonstration all right so once you have the side panel put back in now the next step what you want to do is you want to go into disk management how do you get to disk management it's very simple so go ahead and turn on your computer at this time you can boot up straight to the windows and once you log in putting your password in you get to your window screen All right right here would be your taskbar on the middle left you're gonna see a window right there that is your start menu icon you're gonna see a bunch of your icon desktop here okay so that means you're on a desktop page use your mouse mouse over on top of the start icon okay and right click and once you right click there's a window that pop up right there and look for this management okay go to this management and then there's a window would pop up in that window you're gonna see this zero this one this two what or not till you see a thing that's that is black and ask you to initialize you need to right click on the disk and initialize that m.2 so in order for you to work for the computer to recognize the new m.2 here you definitely need to initialize the disk and format it to whatever need that you want to format usually it's ntfs um, once you have format and initialize the m.2 then you're going to see your additional m.2 being recognized by windows all right, so that's pretty much it. And if you like the video, please feel free to subscribe. And if you haven't liked the video, please like the video. I do not know what to say. You know what to do, smash the like button. 
smash the subscribe button and comments below if you have any question i do read your comments and i do answer those comments so comment below until next time bye now